Well, my name is Chris Roskus, and I um, teach at uh, Eisenhower Academy. Uh, I've been a teacher for 14 years, two with Eisenhower. Uh, last year, for about uh, the second half of the year, uh, I was working with the um, Biggest Winter Math Challenge, and uh, we had just uh, initiated that in December of last year. And uh, this year, I'm actually going to be working with that, with that math challenge again, however, in a different capacity. I'll be a math coach, so I'll be working directly with teachers as well. I feel that uh, the biggest challenge in a low-performing school is to um, change the culture of the school, where kids want to learn, where kids want to uh, be their best, where they truly want to um, be impressive for their family, their community, etc. And uh, that might sound easy to do, but it's not by any means. But I found through the math challenge, uh, we've been able to accomplish that to a good deal. Well, he came, he came home and he told me about the math challenge. He was super excited. And every day, can I email him? I have the answer. He's excited. He, wanted, he wants to come to school at 7 o'clock to give him the answer. He, want, he wants me to check and see, did he email me back? Did I win? So he's engaged. He's very excited. Very excited. As far as actual learning, we've just learned from uh, LEAP and iLEAP results that uh, there were certain targeted grade levels that made significant improvements. So we're, we're seeing a practical side of it there. And I've loved every minute of it. Journey from one to infinity. Along the way, we'll learn about the badge categories. So pay really close attention as you ride with me. She she really loves math, and this is pushing her to a whole nother level. And I see the certificates being handed out, so I do believe that it should be put in a lot of schools because you just never know where a child is performing at. Just because they're in the sixth grade doesn't mean that they've gotten the foundation that they needed when they were in second grade. When I have kids calling me on the weekend to find out a result of a qualifier or what they need to do to get to the next, uh, that's proof positive. I guarantee you no calls have been made to teachers about academic things other than maybe a due date or something very um, superficial. Uh, I have kids who want to talk about the qualifiers and about the math and what they need to do to succeed. And when a dialogue like that between teacher and student develops, uh, yes, we've changed the culture. There's no doubt about it. I'm the counter, the stage where you begin when you've learned to count by ones, twos, fives, and tens, and can add, subtract, multiply, and divide them. You ready to move on up to the next level, my friend? This math challenge is a process of finding out where a student is, where they are with math, and there is, the program has a clear direction of where we're going from there uh, in terms of the structure of qualifier to qualifier. In between those qualifiers, there's room for creativity because the interventions to get from one to the next are not set in stone. We have a menu of things we can do and we try to um, you know, choose the one or uh, allow the student to choose the one that works best for them. And they want to learn, they're looking for more, they're proud of themselves. And uh, I would say that uh, the pride that I see in the kids just rubs off on me. So I'm incredibly proud of what we've accomplished, but it doesn't stop here. I'm looking to the future. I'm really excited. I mean, the math challenge, it made a lot of waves amongst the students and you can feel so I'm excited if, if, if that has the same effect through a reading challenge, I think it would only take us higher and higher. Yes, I'm really proud of what's been accomplished in New Orleans. We've worked with some wonderfully dedicated school leaders, teachers, uh, and even uh, charter leaders that want to really make a difference in the lives of their kids and are open to new think open to techniques and strategies that might be used in the private sector, open to creative initiatives, open to the new social media. It's been a fantastic experience that's really brought new life to some of these schools and I'm really happy that it's being recognized at this point by other school leaders in New Orleans as well. You can do anything you put your mind to. You can do anything you put your mind to.
your mind to I'm gonna work hard now and pay later The benefits of learning this math is way greater You can do anything you put your mind to You can do anything you put your mind to Join the campaign for reform, sponsor a biggest winner school, and spread the excitement.